All right, good morning. <laughs> this is what I woke up to. Well, I just put the uh, ribbon on, but we sadly had to say goodbye to our tree because it was just way too dry. So this is just our faux tree that we had in our dining room in our old house. So I guess it's good that we had it on hand. So half the ornaments are here and half of them are over here. We haven't put lights on yet, but I'm gonna have breakfast first and then we'll tackle that. I moved the chair back over here just to give more walking space here, but it's just, it's not what it's supposed to be. It's so sad, but I do like to put this tree in this basket. And again, it just will save on, you know, walking space for the party. So you gotta look at the bright side, right? The, we're having a party on Saturday. Okay, we have lights and the banner on, the ribbon, we have our angel at the top, and this strand is dead, so I don't need that one. But we do need this Evie. This is gonna go up at the top. This is my little Noel banner. I like to sort of just stick it in the top. Something like that. So now I need to put all the ornaments on. Right, so there's Christmas tree take two. The, the funny part about moving the ornaments from a big tree to a little tree is now it's super full. Like I had to, I was running out of places to put things, but I put a lot of them, like I mentioned in our other tree, sort of in the tree, closer to the base, which also helps this faux tree to look a little fuller because it looked pretty sad when we first put it up. Okay but I put the chair there and just tidied this whole area, cleaned off the dining table. Um, this is all my wrapping supplies, so that just stays out basically until I'm done with it. The girls are playing, so now I need to focus on the kitchen for a little bit. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, 10.20, so I'm gonna finish up my coffee, clean the kitchen, and then probably work on laundry. Okay, it's 12.30, we've had a productive morning. The girls just played and read, read books and had a good time. They're having lunch now, and I was able to do all the caulking on the board and batten. I'm so excited. This went so much faster than the dining room. So now I'm at a stage that I can just paint it. That's all that's left. I need to take the switch plate covers off but then I can paint. So I'm hoping to do one coat during nap time and then maybe another coat tonight after they go to bed. And that just means I need one more coat on the wall, one more roll, and I'll be done for Saturday. I'm so excited. That went way faster than I was planning and thinking it in my head that it was gonna take. So I'm very thrilled that that will be done. Fingers crossed that I get that all done. Um, so maybe this afternoon we might run out and get some things. We still have a couple gifts left to buy. So maybe we'll run out this afternoon since I won't be painting until tonight after they go to bed. And I do want to do a couple other things today. So we'll see how much I get done. First coat of paint is done. And I forgot that I was going to paint this door at the same time that I painted all this. But, so maybe I'll catch that on the next, next uh, roll. But now I'm thinking, it's so blue in here because the lights are out, but we want to replace this basement door when we eventually do the basement. We want to have it be a French door, just because it'll, allow more light to go down there and it'll just look nicer 
And I kind of want to replace this door and just have them match. And I don't know, I'm debating back and forth about doing white doors or doing wood doors because our front door is wood on the interior side. And we have the wood table, we have the wood chairs here. So I don't know if it's like too much white because if that door is white, this entire wall would be white. So I'm like wondering if that makes sense because then it'll be continuous or if it's just too much white because I think two really nicely stained and sealed wood doors would look really beautiful there and we're also planning to do white crown molding so again that's gonna be another white element and then the white kitchen just feels like a lot of white which I like white um but I don't know what do you guys think wood or white I'm leaning wood so Evie cleaned up and is watching her Mickey movie and she's cracking up. It's the Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. It's so cute that she likes it so much. It's two o'clock. Um, Lara's napping and hopefully she'll take a good nap. She still has like a lingering cough and cold or something. So hoping she gets a good nap. And then maybe we will run out um, after. Right now I actually wanna make some cookies. I want to make two different kinds of cookies and hopefully I can at least do the batter now because they'll be for Saturday, which is two days away. So I may freeze them today and then just pull them out on Saturday. So I think I want to start to do some cookies right now. So hopefully these will get done in the time that it takes Lara to have her nap. Okay, we doing good today. Kitchen's a little bit of a mess because I just made cookies and I filmed it for you guys so that I could share the recipes with you because I know I get asked sometimes to share recipes. And I know I was invited to a Christmas cookie exchange but I didn't have my stuff together and I missed it. So I'm gonna share two recipes, I don't know, in a day or two. So I got the first coat on the board and batten. I have laundry in the dryer I need to put on our bed. It's our sheets. I made two things of cookies. I filmed another video. I'm feeling good. Feeling like I'm on top of this to-do list. So Lara just woke up from her nap and I haven't had my iced coffee yet. I need to think about dinner because if we go out now, I mean, it's already 15 minutes left of my dough. That's okay. Okay, it's four o'clock. So if I go out now to go shop for these gifts, I need to at least have something, you know, planned for dinner. Oh wait, actually Dan is going somewhere tonight. I forgot about that. He is going to see Star Wars with his friends. So I need to text him and see if he's gonna be even home for dinner. Cause if he's not home, maybe we'll just eat out somewhere, like get a slice of pizza or something. Uh, yeah, I need to find that out because that would actually work out nicely. There is a, a class, you want yogurt? There is a class at the gym tonight that I would like to go to. Um, my legs are really sore from last night, but it's Christmas week, you know? I got lots of extra treats going on. So, let's see, that one's at like 6.30 and it's already four o'clock and I've already gone through another battery. I think I went through two batteries today and this will be the third. Holy cow. So let me think about this. Okay, change of plans. I just texted Dan. He said he's already out of work and he went to the barber because you guys know yesterday he wanted to get his hair cut and he didn't. Um, and then our friend's dad just went to the hospital. I don't know why. I asked him what happened. Hopefully nothing serious, but now his friend's not going so they're not gonna go to see the movie. So he's gonna come home. So I think we'll all just go out, get some shopping done, grab some pizza or something and then I can come home and edit and clean up this kitchen. Or I'll clean as much as I can before Dan gets here. Now I'm like on pins and needles waiting to hear what happened. Oh, I'm so excited. So the mail, the uh, doorbell just rang and the post office man, or whoever, Amazon delivery person just sent this. And it was for me, I thought it was something I got on Amazon. But no, it's from Everyday Occasions, which is one of my absolute favorite blogs and Instagram accounts. Um, her name is Jenny Steffens Tobik, if you, I think that's her name on Instagram. So I'm gonna open this. I probably should wait till Christmas, but I'm not. 
This is just so lovely. I think that's definitely like hand signed too. What a beautiful card. So I asked for a runner from my in-laws. They asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I wanted this. It's the beige topiary runner and it's just beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the table. Okay, so Kohl's was a success. I just went there with Dan and got for my Secret Santa and he got it for his Secret Santa. Ugh. Guys are hard to shop for, but when they say what they want, then it makes it pretty easy. So we were in and out in like a half hour. So here, hold that for me. We're gonna, I forgot my sneakers. I brought my gym clothes, but I forgot my sneakers. So we need to go back home so I can grab my sneakers. And Dan's probably gonna get pizza or something with the girls and either, I don't know, pick me up or I don't know, trying to figure that part out. All right, so we went home because I forgot my sneakers, so I had to grab my sneakers and my headphones, but now I won't need my headphones. Well, I was thinking of having Dan drop me at the gym, and then he could go get pizza with the girls and then come pick me up. So I grabbed my headphones just in case I needed to kill time. Um, but now we change it to I'm dropping him off to get pizza with the girls. I'm gonna go to my class. It's only a half hour and I mean, he was trying to get me to skip it and I guess it would have been all right if I skipped it, but I feel like it's only a half hour. Like why not just do it? So I'm gonna go do that and then come pick him up. And I don't know, we might go stop at my sister's house because we're close to her house, the one that's renovating, um, just to see the progress and I think they're painting today. So I don't know, maybe we'll stop by, maybe we won't. We're back home now. We wound up going to my sister's house and just checking out the renovations. They had taken down all the walls and ceiling of the second floor. So all that's drywalled and trimmed out and now they're painting. So it looks so good. The bathroom up there is still completely down to the studs, but they're, they're making progress and it looks really great. So we're home now. I'm just gonna have my frozen mango and edit. The girls are in bed. And I'll be talking to you another day. Take care, guys. Bye.